Good morning, everybody. The choir started incredibly early this morning. I've got five whole minutes. <laughs> All right, just a few announcements. Um, the Respect Life Committee will be leading a rosary this Tuesday at 5.45 p.m. That rosary will be dedicated for Michael Tisius, who is scheduled for execution on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Uh, the rosary will be repeated at 7 p.m. in Spanish. That is Tuesday. Earlier this week, a federal judge put a halt on this execution. Should they not go through it, we will pray a rosary in Thanksgiving. So that's good news. All right, a Romero committee will be selling pupusas today, or no, isn't it today? Yeah, today's June 4th. Uh, today, um, after mass. So if you'd like to stop after mass and order a pupusa, you can take them home. Uh, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, uh, they will be sold until 2 p.m. today. So you can always come back if you want. Uh, join us on Tuesday, June 20th at 7 p.m. in the Parish Hall for a fun event to learn the Mentored from Above formula, where author and presenter Keith Lillick will present his 10 universally proven biblical lessons that are uniquely shared as audio and musical stories to lift your spirits and deepen your faith. So that is a program on prayer and mentoring, and it's, it's really good. He's shown me all about it. So that's uh, Tuesday, June 20th at 7 p.m. Okay, do we have any birthdays? Right here, when's your birthday? How old will you be? 11? Happy early birthday. <laughs> any others? Anniversaries? Back here, when's your anniversary? And how many years? 46, congratulations. How many years? 55, congratulations to Brokaw's. Right here, when's your anniversary? How many years? 62, the year I was born. Happy anniversary. 53, congratulations to you. Big anniversary weekend. All right. Well, uh, we met with the architects, uh, or not the architect, we met with the, um, who'd we meet with? The engineer. <laughs> Gotta get my right major. Um, on uh, last week, and they said, as long as we don't have snow on the roof, this section is fine. So we've opened this section back up for section B. Woo, enjoy. <laughs> Everybody gets their seats back. I know where you are now. <laughs> so um, we will be getting, working on that sometime this summer. Let us begin by singing number 567, Holy, 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 number 567. Perfect 
Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. My brothers and sisters, in his letter to the Corinthians, St. Paul calls on us to mend our ways. For all that needs mending in our lives, let us seek our Lord's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came into the world so that we might have eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sent the Holy Spirit to be our guide and helper. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of goodwill. For Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of good will. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The 
first reading today is from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, the Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger, rich in kindness and fidelity. Well, Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship, and then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along with our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise for A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
faithful God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, last weekend at the Pentecost, we celebrated the gift of the Holy Spirit, and that ended the uh, Easter time in the church, and now we're back into ordinary time but it starts off with a bang. It starts off with the the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. So today we celebrate God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And we start with that famous scripture passage that appears at most all sporting events across the United States. John 3, 16. You know, I don't know if they're still holding that up as much as they used to, but about 10 years ago, every time an extra point or a field goal was kicked, you saw the John 3.16. And that John 3.16 is, is the gospel we heard today. And it's a very important gospel because it's John, it's Jesus telling us that he came into this world not to condemn us, but to save us. He's trying to help everybody, especially during his time, to understand the relationship between him and his father. His father, he talks to when he was walking on this earth with the, with the help of the Holy Spirit. So like when he went into the desert, he had that Holy Spirit with him in order to understand God's will for him, in order to be able to uh, know where he was going when he was beginning to start his public ministry. And so that same relationship, we're part of that also. So it's God the Father, God the Son, and then the love between them is that Holy Spirit, and that Holy Spirit is what he gave to his disciples and to all of us. And so we have the ability to talk to Jesus through the gift of that Spirit. We have the ability to know God's will for us through the gift of that Spirit and through Christ. And so we always have to open ourselves up to understand where God is trying to lead us and to understand what our role is. Our role is to be people that believe. Our role is not to go out and force everybody to believe exactly what we do. Our role is to live our faith. Our evangelization is by practicing what we preach. So we can go out and preach all we want, but if we don't follow our own preaching, nobody's going to believe in us. So we have to practice what we preach, and that's individually and as a community. So we practice by doing good works. We practice by opening ourselves up to the Spirit. We always remember that God loves us. God began reaching out in the very beginning. In the first reading, we hear about God reaching out to Moses. And Moses understands how stiff-necked of people that he was dealing with. This is after he just smashed one of the stone tablets because he was so angry at all the people. But you know what? God still works with us. No matter how stubborn, no matter how angry we may be, no matter how hurt we may be, God's not going to give up on us. And when we always know that, even when we're going through our toughest times, it helps us to get through those tough times by knowing that God understands and that God is not the cause of our problems. This world is the cause of our own problems. And this world, with the help of the Spirit, can help everybody to work things out. The second reading, we hear about peace. 
about bringing peace into this world. That's what we're called to do. So on this Trinity Sunday, I bring you peace. And I hope when you leave, you're sent out with peace. You are fed with the body and blood of Christ. We all are fed with that to go out and be like Christ. To go out and to practice that, that peace that Jesus gave us in the gift of his spirit. So we're not part of the Trinity, but the Trinity is all three there for us. To help us to realize that we have eternal life. To help us to continue to learn how to love. So as you leave today, think about, I'm taking the Spirit of Christ with me. And think about that all through the week. And the more you do that, the more you start living your faith. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Knowing that God dwells with us always, let us give voice to our needs and the needs of the whole world. For the church, that the relationship of love of the Trinity may be reflected in the leaders and members of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the abolition of torture, that the international community may commit in a concrete way to ensuring the end of torture and guarantee support to victims and their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a deeper understanding of issues that affirm or destroy life and for the courage to defend life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering members of our community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, that the life-giving love of the Trinity may flow through us so that we may actively support the lonely, console the grieving, encourage the struggling, and forgive those who have injured us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Michelle Vargo and Robert Motzinger, Jr. May God receive them into the heritage of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, in your great love, you create, redeem, and sanctify the world. Receive our prayers that, guided by the Spirit, we might be beacons of your love throughout the world. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we prepare our gifts, let us sing, This Day God Gives Me. You may find it at number 856, number 856.
the words are what you use. The music is does not go with what we're going to play. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere is to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim, two, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your children. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace at home. Peace.
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, of the world. Have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, of the world. Grant us peace, grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word of my soul shall be. Our communion song, I am the bread of life, may be found at number 945, number 945. I am the bread of life. You come to me, shall not hunger, and to believe in me, shall not thirst. No one can come to me. The Father beckons, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the the Son of Man, and drink of his blood, and drink of his blood, you shall not have life within you, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up. Resurrection. I am the life. 
Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. What about him? The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Let us sing number 615, Holy God, we praise thy name. Sweet accord. 